it's time to find a deserving animal, a forever home. Tina Miller is here from the Humane Society of West Alabama with our featured animal. Tina, it's good to see you again. And happy Fur Day. Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this little girl? Oh, she's so precious. She is. This is Heidi. 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 And Heidi is a full-blooded Pomeranian. Wow. She is, uh, believe it or not, nine years old. Mm. She's a middle-aged pup, but Pomeranians can live to be like 16 to 18 years old. Oh, so that's a really long time. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're very normally healthy animals. And um, she's little. She's the biggest she's going to get, of course. And she is five pounds, ready for the Bama game tomorrow. <laughs> and ready to go to somebody's house to watch the Bama game tomorrow. Now, ordinarily, whenever I see Pomeranians, they're very fluffy and they've got hair mm -hmm. everywhere. You guys have cut her really close. Yes, well, the, the folks that we got her from, um, well, she was passed around to several families, and the folks that we got her from had not had her groomed or bathed in a very long time. Uh -huh. Her hair was extremely long and matted. Matter of fact, she still has um, a couple of issues with her hair that we're gonna try again in the near future to, to get fixed. So. She will look like a normal Pomeranian, you know, with time. She's got this beautiful red fox looking like face and mm -hmm. hair, and she is just probably one of the most gorgeous little palms that we've seen. <laughs> but, um, but we know that, that she needs and deserves that, that forever home, a real stable environment. Um, because of her size, we're, we're going to ask that she not be with a family that might have children oh. because she can easily be stepped on. Um, and then she has one issue that we don't see very often, but one of the families that she was with had her debarked. Which debarked? That means that they cut her vocal cords so that she cannot bark. I think that's the first time I've ever heard of that. Well, we don't. I didn't even know that sort of procedure mm -hmm. was possible. Some families that do legal? that. Is that legal? Yes, it's very legal. It's wow. just not recommended oh. because a dog, her, her size, I mean, can be swept up by another dog or right. perhaps a hawk and she would never be able to let anyone know that she's in danger. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, we are gonna ask that she always be an inside dog. You know, to take her out for her, her exercise and her you know, bathroom breaks and all, but um, that because she cannot defend herself, because she cannot let the family know that she needs to get back in or whatever, um, she will need to be an inside dog. You need to keep your eye on her. Definitely, and, and, and I could see even uh, so many different groups of people taking her, of course, without children. We would prefer um, perhaps no dogs in, in the family because, you know, her size and her age, mm -hmm. she just kind of needs to be the only pup. But, um, you know, even a single person, would this would be the most perfect dog because she is very much a lap dog. Mm -hmm. And um, an older couple maybe that, you know, is an empty nest couple. Right. She'd be great for that. And, and um uh, she's staying right now in a foster home that also has Pomeranians. So she's seeing some great examples there. <laughs> and and um, her, matter of fact, her, her foster mom typed me out a whole list of things to be sure that I said about how beautiful she is, how sweet and loving she is. And of course, she never makes a sound because she can't. Right. <laughs> and she knows her name. She minds. Um, she was what we call pee pee pad trained. Uh. <laughs> and so she, they're, they're working on her, you know, house training. She's doing a great job. Mm. She's really very smart. Um, but we just need someone that might could dedicate the rest of, of her life to, to taking care of her because she's just been passed around and she yeah. deserves so much more. Well, she is a cutie. I don't think you guys are going to have <laughs> any trouble finding somebody to take mm, her. Tina, thank precious. you so much for being with Thanks us Thanks for having us. Lots of furry beasts are looking for a forever home. You can find out more about pet adoptions by calling 205-554-0011 or online at humanesocietyofwa.org.